Hello and welcome to episode number 14 of <laughs> Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Kill Jack and Nino Soul Drinkers. Let's play of it. Uh, you'll notice that I am no longer wearing the assassin garb. Now, Edward got to thinking, after the whole Templar thing from last episode, he realized that these cult people have a lot of enemies. And he's not sure he wants to quite be identified with them. So he decided to trade his his well-worn and earned garb uh, for something a little more inconspicuous. So, we are here now to do this Templar hunt that Mr. Kid here is going to give us. Mr. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. Oh, good. How long one have you last? Been one of these assassins, eh? Couple years now. I met Atabai in Spanish town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close. But not quite. Here we are. Oh, we already Take found that this. stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. And put it there. Okay. okay. So, Enyo did mention that we had already been here. But... This is yet another door whereby we need the keystones to get into. Mm-hmm. And by scrolling our finger thingy over the map marker, we discover that that's yet another outfit. So, yeah, super, super subtle there. Yeah. But, mysterious treasure. Alright. I cannot see Edward working his butt off and then opening up that door and being like, really? New clothes? Seriously? But, yeah, basically, that little cutscene that you guys missed was Miss Kid telling us about it and... Edward asking, so what do I get out of going? What do I get for getting all these keystones? And she's like, well, first of all, you get the respect of all these men and women that you put in danger. Like it was my fault. Like I had any idea I knew what I was doing. Yeah, it would have happened either way. Yeah, the guy on the beach, Dun uh, Duncan. Duncan. I'm about calling him Dunlop. <laughs> let you know that uh, I've been playing tennis recently. Dunlop. Dunlop. Duncan attacked me. He's the one who tried to kill me. Little punk. And if Duncan had survived, he would have done it just the same. And yes, he would have been to blame. I think Duncan is still arguably to blame either way. I mean, Edward was just doing it for the money. He didn't know he was putting anyone in danger. He already saved the island. He is no longer in that debt. She should stop stringing it over his head. Seriously. And it's making me kind of angry because I'm already a Mary Reed fangirl, and so if she keeps being this passive-aggressive little twat. That's a really bad word in other languages. Um, if she just keeps being passive-aggressive and annoying, I might start getting very angry. I want her to be cool. Captain has the helm. We are off. Where are we going? So yeah, I've done a lot of exploring and uh, sailing about since the last we played. And uh, you'll notice up in the top left corner I have three of those crossed cannons or whatever. And still pretty sure those are swords. I the highest they can get to is four, and I played for a while with them at level four. And I had like the pirate hunters that you see tra trailing me. They're what are they? A brig and a schooner, you know? Heaven forbid. Oh, one was a man of war. Well, you're oh, not not this time, but like the oh, first yeah. time you got that bad. Is that guy shooting at you? He's going to, yeah, because I'm in restricted area. Oh, well... Hello! Anyway, like I was saying... I had 
by a pirate man of war pirate hunters chasing me, and I was able to capture two of them and add them to my fleet. So that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. So let me just take this ship really quick and add it to my fleet, and we'll carry on our way. Well, I'll probably have to wind up fighting those two guys too to finish, and so that's 18 real hours. Bye, not, dude. Not Guess we don't hours. care about you. That's probably right. the shrieking eels that are coming to eat that man that you just <laughs> left to die. So yeah, we are off to take this fort. I've never battled a fort before. I've had him shoot at me as I've sailed by, but I've never actually battled one, so here we go. This looks like a pretty tough one. This is going to be exciting. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, and there's a... There's a uh, something else. tell exactly what I'm supposed to be shooting at. Everything? Oh my heavens, that oh, is wow. a... That's uh, frightening. Your port's screwed anyway. Maybe we'll just come back us? later. Did you guys summon a witch or something? What exactly? That thing is literally chasing us. Yeah, okay. they... Uh, they yeah, they have a... Did a little bit of pagan sacrifice. They have a witch on board. Whoa! Yeah, and everything you see that's red in the water is them shooting at me, so... I'm having a hard time seeing exactly where I'm supposed to be shooting. Um, maybe any of the red spots? Did that tornado just circle the island and is now coming after me again? Yes, yes it did. That is exactly what happened, actually. Nice. Can't see. Stay out of the red. Stay out of the red. Seriously is, that tornado seriously is just circling the island. That's his third pass right there. What was the name of that group of uh, sea elves that oh, we had to fight? Oh, in, in Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah. Um, what are they called? I forget. I think, yeah, you're going for the red dots. Well, yeah, I know, I'm just, I'm having that. Another one? Really? I need another one? Yes. I am now currently stuck between two water devils. You guys are using witchcraft. That's cheating. I only have 11 mortars left. This is really expensive. Mortars are hard to come by without just straight up buying them. Well, that was a waste. Your men seem to like it. Yeah. That twister is seriously just circling. That's really annoying. Oh, that was the wrong tower. That one left. We need to hit those towers. We'll be fine. Pay no attention to the giant cyclone of watery doom behind us. Forget. Forget. Ouch. 
some reason I suddenly really want to watch Master and Commander. What? I thought I knew exactly what tower I was supposed to be hitting. Ah, uh, that cyclone's coming around too. Um, the other one's coming around from the other direction. Crap. Oh, man. Oh, I'm literally getting pulled in. That cyclone started pulling me in. Oh, that's exciting. That hard prick to the right I just did was not me. That's upsetting. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Now what? Uh, infiltrate fort. Wait. I see a bunch of blue dots on my radar. Are those friendlies? Uh, maybe. Ooh, friendlies. are you freeing pirates? Is that what's happening? Oh, great. No pirate hunters right now. I'm trying to... There's a parking spot on the other side. Uh, keep going. There's a glowing blue light. I'm assuming that you're supposed to park over there. Not yet. No, no, no. It's around the side. I know I know what you're saying. I'm just not sure I believe you. <sighs> okay. I think I believe you. Captain down. Clear south, handsome wind. See? Oh, yep, yep, yep. The yellow coming up on the south side of my radar is, of course, the pirate hunters, which I'm not really worried about. We're raiding a fort. You guys can wait a minute. All right. All right, fellas, is anyone else coming with? Nope, apparently I get to raid this fort single-handedly. Well, that's always fun. Other than those pirate friends that you have apparently loosed. Um, um, thank you for the super helpful stairway to no, nowhere. No, 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 get, get out, out of the fire. fire! Wow, that was brilliant. I'm a genius. Here we go. Nothing like a couple first degree burns to get you ready for battle. Oh. Bummer, dude. Awesome. Thank you, come again. Oh, now that makes me angry. Take a seat. Why were you guys just standing there keeping watch anyway? Do you not know that you're getting raided by pirates? Ooh, that was horrendous. Nice hat. Really want Edward to steal someone's hat sometime. Seriously, how come I don't get a cool hat? No, you're the freaking captain of a pirate ship. You're supposed to have a cool hat. Take <laughs> a seat, gentlemen. Sit down. Yeah! Reach the war room. War room? Alright, let's go reach the war room. Whatever the heck that is. Maybe that's where the battle is really fierce. Oh, hey, they surrendered. Like, please stop hurting us. Remember, reach. Think straight. Oh wait, I'm, don't make me kill someone who's surrendering. Pirate. Oh come on, I should be able to like at least can't, imprison him or something. Can't we just humiliate him and then leave? Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna knock him out. Nighty night. Oh. Well, hey. Well, that's kind of neat. So, the only cinema you missed there was just, we lowered the Spanish flag and raised the black flag. And now, evidently, uh, pirates control these waters here. Awesome. That is pretty neat. So, there's, 
I'm gonna get the rest of these chests and fragments and ooh, there's an assassin's contract too. We'll get that when we're done. Um I wonder if they're shooting at a ship. Oh doing? yep, we are attacking. We just destroyed that ship out there. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. What have you got for me, buddy? Greetings, Privateer. A villainous Spanish captain is responsible for slaying a number of my employees most brutally and callously. Board his ship and put an end to his life so that others may be spared such a fate. Signed, Milo van der Graaf. Honest businessman and friend. <laughs> Kill him. I'm an honest businessman. Whatever. I'm getting paid. Well, he's being honest about it. I'm betting he's on the big one. It's giving you the symbol. Can you just straight up board? That might be what you want me to do, yeah. Without having to blow them all to bits first? Yeah, it's telling me to board the Hercules, yeah. So I'm gonna see if I can just squeeze in here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Mm. I mean, you could just jump on because it's fun. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, what? 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 Bullcrab. Apparently I needed to use the rope. Which I was trying to do, for the record. And for the record, you failed. And for the record, nobody asked you. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody on the ship's like, What is that guy? Did he just try to... No. I'm sure he's fine. He probably just dropped something overboard. At the very convenient moment, which... Okay, we're gonna just kind of cut them off. I practice this all the time on the freeway. <laughs> you think he's kidding. Okay, so now... You're not close enough. Yeah, but at least he's stalled this way. Right there, right there, right there. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. And then I guess use eagle vision? Um... Hola! What's up, everybody? Ha! <laughs> Your crew seem to be helping. Oh. Yep. your crew doesn't even like bother to come over they're just kind of like well oh, they are step. sniping them for me though which is really nice mm -hmm. so I'm here now what am I supposed to do I guess uh, there's one more upstairs oh you maybe I am supposed to just blow it apart because normally the whole boarding process doesn't officially begin until until their their health is down mm -hmm. Okay, so I have officially rendered the ship useless. I'm going to be shocked and appalled. Oh. My heavens. Okay, now board. Kill enemy crew, zero out of ten. Are you kidding? They must all been sitting below deck. Talk about an overcrewed ship. Three with that one. Nice. Easy enough. Now then. You still have to board it. Guess it counted? This is all very confusing. So... Oh, that was... Okay, that was really weird, but we got it. Somehow, evidently. I killed the guy somewhere and... 
I don't know what just happened, but I won, so. With what we have taken, we can improve the ship, Captain. Woo! Alright, well, we are off, and we're gonna go take another fort. Hooray! Tortuga. We ride the wind for all she's worth. Dry Tortuga. Yeah, what whatever that means. Apparently it doesn't rain there. I don't know. Or no one drinks. Because that totally seems realistic. <laughs> really? Oh no. A pirate hunter and a schooner is going to try to come take you? Seriously? Oh, apparently there is another assassin's contract at that island. Oh nice. No, they are shooting at him. That's awesome. <laughs> they just sunk the pirate hunter for me. Excellent. That's so neat. He's just trying to get away. <laughs> Didn't do a thing. He, he really did. He really did. Killjack took his hands off the mouse and keyboard. I had nothing to do with that. He had all the time in the world to get out of my way. It's like when you're driving. It's like when you're passing a car, you know, and you have to go into the oncoming lane to pass the car, and then the other car is coming. You don't know, well, do I swerve right? Because then if he swerves right, then we go head on. But if he doesn't swerve right, and then I don't swerve, then we hit head on. So what do I do? And so I just took my hands off the mouse. I was like, your call, dude. You Jesus, take it. the wheel. And he, <laughs> he uh, yeah. So anyway, we're going to destroy this fort now. Currently ranked 53,392nd in the most prosperous. The one with the colorful cloak. So, um, we just met Edward Teach, otherwise known as Blackbeard, and Calico Jack, otherwise known as Captain Jack Rackham. And I am totally pirate geeking out right now. <laughs> Was that black? I mean, yeah, he had a big black beard, but they called him Thatch. That's true, they call him Thatch instead of Teach. But when I googled Blackbeard, they brought up a bunch of pictures of the same gentleman. So, I don't know. You cheated. I might have. I, well, I was double checking because I was confused. Because it was saying... Because he had this big giant black beard that they kept referencing. And he looked very intimidating and important. And... Yeah, anyway, the basic cutscene was... Um, these two gentlemen, one whose name I missed because someone said Mr. Rackham, and I was like, <gasps> um, but <clears throat> they came up to Edward and were talking about, they were just kind of talking about Nassau and saying how it kind of smelled funny and didn't seem that much cooler than any of the other places that they had been to, and Edward was like, it's just a cool place where... So long as you do your fair share, this, that, and the other thing. And they're like, well, we understood that this is a place where men do as they pleased. And that's when gentlemen with giant black beard showed up and said, that's accurate, so long as, well, he didn't say those words. I'm paraphrasing it. They said it in pirate speak. Um, but that's f so long as they don't prevent other men from doing it. And then everyone backed off. And they were like, welcome to the island, Mr. Rackham and whoever. Mr. Vane. Mr. Vane? Vane, V-A-N-E. V-A-N-E. Okay, I'm going to cheat and look that one up too. Cause okay, I'm going to start this Templar quest. <laughs> I'm so geeking out. Okay, just had a chat with a gentleman. Uh, again, he was an assassin, but he was like, um, Who are you? You don't look like an assassin. And I said, I'm here to warn you about the destruction of your bureau or something like that. And so anyway, we, get, we made the deal. I'm going to kill these guys and... In return, I get to have the key. And yes, Charles Vane was a notorious pirate from during the Golden Age of Piracy. Uh, he sailed... Oh, where was that? I liked the name of the ship. Where did it go? Oh, the Ranger. He wanted the goods transported to his residence instead. But why? What's he going to do with them? I don't know. Store them. Smuggle them. Smuggle them away from his own smuggling. <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous. But a job's a job. I suppose you're right. Everything you can 
This is what I'm struggling to eavesdrop on. I feel like this is Merry and Pippin. A little bit. Although his voice is super familiar too. Yes. This should be easy. So we move the goods, then we go to the inn. Or we should be so lucky. Nice. Old school right there. are totally Mary and Pippin, aren't they? Um, that looks like an assassin. That does look like an assassin, doesn't it? Is it another assassin traitor? Such a pity how so many Templars have recently come down with the with the uncontrollable rage. Yeah. Come down with what PMS? Is that what you're trying to go for? What are you Winnie the Pooh? Okay, that was a little dumb. Cause as you saw, I totally tranked him. And the opposite of tranked him, really. Okay, well, I totally poisoned him, and then. And then all of a sudden, it cut to cinema with me running in to finish him off with my blade, which I wouldn't need to do because his buddy just killed him with a sword. We watched it happen. Anyway, I come in and he's really confused and he's like, please don't kill me, I'm an assassin or whatever. I'm the bureau leader of the assassins. Yeah, I'm the bureau yeah, leader. Yeah, yeah. And, and those men that you just killed, they weren't Templars, they were assassins. We, and didn't, we didn't kill anyone. We didn't kill anybody. I... Tr <sighs> Anyway, that aside, that um, aside. Uh, apparently this bureau leader, the guy who sent us to kill him, was his brother. And um, he was really heartbroken about that, and he wants you to come and meet him at the bureau so that he can explain things and so that you can tell him everything. And Edward's just like, but I just wanted the key. Fine. Fine. His actual words were, oh bother. bother. Oh bother. And I was like, what? So apparently he's channeling Winnie the Pooh now restricted area this is my island what do you mean restricted area uh, let's figure out what the crap's going on here my lovesick idiot of a brother has misled you oh, start from the start mate recently after treatment she and Vance quickly became inseparable any reason he should have thought your men were spies well there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. We each kept half. Come, I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. There are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Then why are you telling me? Yeah, seriously. Did you not get the part that I'm here to, because I want money? Or the equivalent thereof? Something of value. Follow me when Vance arrives. Hide there. Okay. Giant pile of bushes. Very well. Foliage. Good day, my brother. Good day, brother. If I may still call you that. Why? What else would you call me? Stranger, perhaps. I barely knew you. And if the whispers around He's Mercurio! No wonder he sounds so familiar. I couldn't recognize the voice until he started bitching. Well, Sir 
brother. No stronger bonds of family. Except business. Goodness knows we have more than enough of that between us as well. It's true, brother. That is very true. And what a business it is. I'm sure neither of us would ever do anything to upset the balance of it. Quiet. Quiet. Now tell me. Brought it. It? My half of the map? Kill the thief the stealth goal. The map. The map. That's what I call stealth. All the more reason to keep it buried. Safe. Have you no imagination? Can you not imagine the luxurious life that waits on the American's bounty? I really don't think the Travers estate and plantations. No more smuggling. No more organizing men. No shipments. No police. Hire some lady friends. Are you sure your future will unfold so easily? What do you mean? What do you want? I am not implied, but I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jane as the lady of the house? Mistress of servants, brood mother? Or should I not imagine it? You question her love, her fitness? Of course not. But knowing her as you could be, she is a No more smuggling. No more organizing men, no shipments, no risk. Why not begin there? Plans. Are you sure your future will unfold soon? What do you mean? What do you imply? I am not implying, I am merely asking. Do you really imagine Jane as the lady of the house? Hmm? Mistress of servants, brood mother? Or should I not imagine it? You question her love, her fitness. Of course not. But knowing her as you do, you must appreciate that she is a woman of action. She needs the sea, challenge. How will she adapt to a quiet domestic life? Jing is none of your concern. Pence, do you intend to marry her? Of course. It pains me to tell you, but I do not believe she will consent to it. Oh? And what gives you such insight into her heart? In addition to her nature, I simply do not believe she is exactly what she says she is. Jealous. Jealous? No. Yes! I only worry for your safety. You always had to be the favorite child, the golden boy. I can't stand it that she would give her heart to me, but she can't even give you a second glance. I have no hate. Only concern. I'll take the risk. I will tell you. I will kill you if I must. I will have your half of the map. And then the world will see which brother has more honor. I'll bid you good day. I forget, is Vance the good guy or the bad guy? Bad guy. Okay. Hey, aren't you? Care to lose the lot? Perhaps I'll return to London for a few seasons. Not in late. You have the last. Not yet. Not yet. What am I to tell my order? You know we can't leave until I have it. I'm taking care of it. Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it through. My flower, it is all but done. I've hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel, and he did it himself. He did not require a third man to carry the axe. That's a really messed up analogy. Trust me, he's doing it now. Right this moment? Nothing can save him now. Um, dude. 
He's an assassin. I would hope he would know what to do. Make him Hulk out. Or not. It wasn't really time. Yeah, so the guy's a little surprised, even though his brother threatened him. He's still and a little surprised. Tried already hired someone to kill him. Previously. Well, yeah, but he didn't really know that. So yeah, so now we're advising him to leave the island. I'm really glad real life problems and video game problems are not the same. <laughs> What's happening? Um, I think drunk Upton may have caused a fight. Oops. Sorry, dude. Shouldn't have stand, stood so close to the fight. Holy crap. Wow. We pissed off the entire island. Uh, anyway, Edward... <laughs> the cutscene... Uh, Upton is very, very drunk and very sad and wondering what the point of life is since his brother's a traitor, his future sister-in-law's a liar and a Templar, and he has no wife of his own. What's the point of living? I'm so sad. And Edward's just like, look, dude, I really just want my key. Which means I need you alive. Let's Which go. means I need you sober. I, I need your information. And then Upton was just like, you are my Trouble best that. friend. I'll kill you. And then he started Who's like... Are you? <laughs> really? The church, sir. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy... Mate, the Father, the Son, and the Holy... What's the third one again? Let's just keep it moving, yeah? The Father, the Son, and the let keep it moving. No, that's not it. <laughs> 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 it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Nothing in this sour life does. Let's keep it moving. Hmm? <laughs> keep it moving. Let me take your mind off of things. I can you have to defend this guy? Oh, no, you're supposed to pay the dancers to <laughs> bump into him. That's it. I don't feel so good. I don't know why you're having them bump into him. Defend Upton. That's good. Yep. Oh, charming. Upton, mate, no. Guards. There are guards nearby. Piss off! They won't stand for this. I said piss off! Oh, I need a piss. You can't <laughs> piss in public on a pirate island? That's the one you want to punch. Thank you. Nighty night, princess. Upton. I don't want to be like a child, Edward. You are it's a child. Right, mate. Help me not be like a child. You just Keep need walking. the drink to wear off. Are you safe here? Safety is an illusion. But yes, I have friends here I can hide. Good. What you must think of me. Have I said anything embarrassing? No, <laughs> You sound quite the scholar. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine a Templar, my brother, to marry a Templar. I doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. But oh, please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. You're a forever friend, can I? Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah. Carrying on. Okay, so now that he's sober, he's realized that both his brother and his fiancée need to die. So, because I'm such a generous fellow, I offered to kill them on his behalf. Also, because one of them, th therefore, probably has the key. Don't uh, forget about the crocodiles. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight crocodiles. Crocodiles scare me. Baby. Oh, there's one. Have fun. You little sucker! I could totally do this in real life. Absolutely. Get off me! Bugger off. He's going to attack you uh -oh. again. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. Shoot the barrel. Ow. Ow. noticed the title of this particular Templar quest that's something about the Pirate Queen. I'm, well, I'm hoping that the Templar chick isn't the most awesome pirate ever. Anne Bonny? No, uh, Anne Bonny is awesome. But no, the Pirate Queen uh, was an Oriental uh, pirate. I can't remember her name. Um, but she had a, an enormous... She basically had an army at her command. Uh, that would sound like a Templar. But she was so cool. Like, she had a, the most effective set of rules. Like, she actually conquered towns and had, like, eventually wound up with diplomatic immunity because it was just so hard to keep her down. Like, she was just kicked everyone's trash so hard. That it, they decided it was easier to join her than fight her? Mm-hmm. She's also super cool because she had very strict rules about... Um, rape and sex like you could not take a woman prisoner and if anyone was caught raping they were immediately keel hauled there we go I'm hoping it's not Oh, if for no other reason than she won. No one ever successfully killed her or... So, yeah, if I'm going to kill her, then this obviously can't be her. Yeah. No one ever killed her or uh, was able to arrest her. She wound up dying of old age. She's like the only pirate ever noted to have died of old age after making five bajillion dollars. Oh, good. One of his big friends is coming over to help. See that guy in the corner? No. He just, it looked like he was walking up and then he was just like, mm, nope, and hurried and went the other direction. Oh! Awesome. Jing Lang. Let's see if she was a real pirate. Well,. Oh wow, she's got a little bit of burst of speed in her. Okay, we're just gonna sh cap her. Boom! Okay, yeah, so this was uh, an homage to the Pirate Queen, I guess, in a way, since she was... Was she Chinese? I believe she was Chinese. Um, but just in googling the name Jing Lang, that was not her. She's only popping up with Assassin's Creed references. Okay. So anyway, the first cinema was after I, you know, as we mentioned in the previous videos, one of the gifts of being in the bloodline of the assassins is that you can have a heart-to-heart -heart with your contact before he dies. So anyway. Um, like that out-of-body. Yeah. So after I killed Van Vince or Vance or whatever his name was. Vance. Um, he died pretty quick, basically. he just Yeah, he just called 
He just said Edward. He just called Edward a traitor, and traitor, and Edward just said, "Takes one to know one." Yeah, and I'm then like, he died. Wow, you're. you're <laughs> I haven't heard that since elementary school. What good work, Edward. And then I shot Jing Lang, and. And she was angry with herself. I could have been queen of pirates, and I did all this to get killed for a fake map. I already stole the real map. I gave it to my husband. Right. And then he took the key. So now I have the key from her. And half of Vance's map. You missed. Okay, we're off. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! I am the coolest, huh, guys? Okay. <laughs> and then he just sits down. That was exhausting. I want to hop on my lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> okay, so we are done with this episode. Thank you for watching. Leave any comments that you have or feedback in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. And we will see you next time and as we continue on the main quest. And, yeah, actually do something in the main quest. Yeah, I got sidetracked by Templar hunts. But that was a very exciting Templar hunt. That was that yeah. one was involved. It was like a main quest line type thing. And thingy. I didn't get super frustrated and angry. 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 Or angry. Or angry. From crazy NATO women. I just, yeah. I just, I can't help but wonder, like, how do we know that Upton was the honest brother and Vance yeah. was the dishonest one? No, was it just because Vance had a girlfriend? I've wondered that, that made same him dishonest? thing. Well, the, the fact that she did have the Templar key would make me believe that, that they were true. actually the Templars. Anyway. That's a good confirmation. We are out. See you next time. Bye, everybody.